What up, it's Bill Cabins. I'm bringing y'all another video again. So we got Lawsuit Jerry in the car, relaxing, and he finally tells the truth on the challenger. So let's get right into it. And keep on going. And nothing. Y'all want to hear about something else. Ain't no need to lie about it. I'm going to tell the truth right here, and then that's going to be it. I ain't going to say no more. All the ones want to know about that goddamn chart. Oh, excuse me, God, I take that back. Rewind that. Everybody want to know about the Charger, the Challenger. We're going to put everything to a, to a straight level, and that's it. Lawsuit Jerry never had a Charger. That was my cousin's Charger. Everybody hear that? Do I want one? Yes. I can't afford one. There's only one car... I Jerry, you can't afford that Challenger. That was like a 2010, 2012. Look, I got a homeboy right now that own a car dealership. He, look, you can drive off the lot, five hundred dollars down with a 2009 Challenger or 2000, whatever it was, 14, whatever it was. I got a guy right now, buy here, pay here. You put down fifteen hundred, you drive off the lot same day. Just hit me up, Jerry. I got you, boy. Well, mine having, and I'm gonna tell you the truth about that. One car I don't mind having is that blue Cadillac CJ got in his garage, the CTS. That's the only mm -hmm. car I love. If it was black, I would love to have it. Why I say that? Why am I am saying that? Why I like that car? Because CJ let me drive it when he first got it. And before he had, had it fixed up, I think the same car. It might be the same car. But he let me have it for the whole day. I took that car from him for the whole day. I drove it. Took my family for a ride in it. Picked up my my wife and my kids. Took everybody for a ride. We went out to eat dinner with that car. But I had this car parked far away without anybody can dent the doors or whatever. Okay? That day... Such a I happy, paid a home. A home has got 50 bucks to sit there and watch the car, make sure nobody parked by that car. We went inside Texas. Hey, I ain't even trying to. Every time I hear Jerry he reminisce, hey, um, it just reminds me of that one song. How I go, hey, I stumbled on this photograph. Hey, it kind of made me laugh. Hey, it took me way back. Hey. Back down memory lane. Hey, I don't know if y'all know that, man. If y'all if y'all knew, man, yeah, go look up Minnie Ripperton, R.I.P., one of the greatest female vocalists of all time. Uh, tragically, I think she passed away at like around 30, but one of the greatest singers. But anyway, know y'all black history, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> Jerry, every time Jerry reminisced, that's what that remind me of. Hey, back down memory lane. House, ate dinner, came back out, hey. paid the guy 50 bucks. Got back in the car, took everybody back home, and took CJ back the car back to him. And he asked me, why come I didn't keep it for the rest of the day? Man, I didn't want to keep it for the rest of the day because if I would have, I would never brought it back to him. So I ended up giving him the car back. And I thanked him for that car. You know what I'm saying? For letting me have it that, that day. But I fell in love with that Cadillac. But I would like to have one of those before I leave this earth. So whatever it takes for me to save up to give me one of those, I'm going to try my best to get one of those Cadillacs. Because I always loved Cadillacs. I had an 85 Broham. Cleaned in a mug. Coming up. And end up losing the car because the car end up the engine end up locking up on me. Back now, I'm in so the I had to relay. Give it, up. Give it strapped to the uh, jump car. I'm take it with the rims and all. So I just said forget it. But that's the only car we love to have. All the other cars that he got, I won't want those. But they kept. Look, Jerry can get the car. I don't know about that car specifically. You know, that's a $100,000 car. You actually got to have your money right. You got to have everything in order to, to get something like that. But, you know, most people are not going to be able to afford a $100,000 car in their lifetime. It just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But for Jerry to get that, you know, he got to go back to the detailing, man. You know, promote yourself. Do that. But I don't know. That's all I hear, man. 
Hey, one of my back I'm down like, memory lane. You know what I'm saying? But I will find a way and give me one Monday before I leave this earth. And I pray on that every single day. That's the only car I love. And when I went in that garage that day, I looked at it, put my hands on it. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> man, if you would have got them doors open, I wasn't standing. And it'd be hard to get me out of it. But that's the only car I love. All right, guys? But I got the truth out of that. And that's all I really want to say about this, you guys. But just like I said, Stop hating on the 32 games. Find a way to love them guys. You know what I'm saying? They ain't doing nothing to nobody. They ain't doing nothing to hurt nobody. They just trying to find a way to make everybody happy. Even though I do get in the raffles, you know, I can't win. If he put my name on that raffle, I can't take the car anyway. Y'all got to understand that. A lot of people do understand that, but I'm part of the 32 game. So he would have to be pull a different name for that. But I always do get in the raffles. I never skipped a day without getting in the raffle, but I always do get in his raffles. You know, every time he raffles something. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, like, if you can't win, Jerry, then don't even enter the raffle. I mean, it's just a waste of money. I mean, CJ Good, he don't need you to participate in the raffle. I mean, if you want to, you can, but you can't win anyway. So I don't I don't get the point. I don't. <laughs> yeah, I put in for it. So, All right. you know, but if, if he... Wants to give it to somebody else, that's fine. You know, I'm, I'm happy with that. But I don't want to keep a car like that. It's too powerful, too fast for me to drive. You know, I want to be able to enjoy myself with it. But it can't like I would. You know what I'm saying? I'll go out and buy me a brim hat, put on my head, you know. I'll probably dress up in a dress suit every day, you know what I'm saying? Back Just down to cruise around with it on the weekends, you know what I'm saying? Not the everyday car. It's so it's it's a weekend car to get out and that's it, you know, cruise around a little bit, hit the city or something, you know, come on back. But, you know, not to mess around with every day, put a lot of miles on it. And with Red Ruby, a lot of miles on it, you know. And you know, it's it's a work car to me. You know, it's just a work car. I'm not happy with it no more, but it's just a work car. I put it like mm -hmm. this. Ruby got me to Phoenix twice. Twice. There and back. Twice. But she's a good running car for a work car with a lot of miles on it, you know. But, hey. And I'm thinking about it this close to taking my rims off and just put my original stuff back on. So, um, I'm just not with Ruby no more, you know. Ray Ruby is... You know, just like, man, a lot of miles. So, but anyway. Yeah, man, get in my comments section. Let me know what y'all think. I'm probably going to drop maybe two or three more reaction videos to go over with Jerry. I mean, I hope Jerry figures it out, man. It's just like, I don't know. It's kind of like a sad affair to see. Like, nobody's hating on Jerry. I want the best for Jerry. I just feel like me dealing with him on a personal level, I just feel like he don't take advice and he don't he don't want to necessarily put in the work the way that you need to in order to be successful he wants to put in the work by you know working two jobs or whatever like, I, I just don't get it in my eyes you know what i'm saying nobody's hating on jerry i wish nothing but the the best for jerry but it's like it gets to a certain point where you gotta i don't know man but <laughs> But I'm probably going to drop two more reaction videos to it because um, he said a lot of stuff in this live. So get in my comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. You know, we at over 5,000 subs now. I appreciate every single one of y'all. I try to respond back to most comments. You know, obviously I can't get to them all. So don't feel offended if I don't reach back out to you or whatever. Um but yeah, let me know what y'all think of the situation and I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.